Hello. <laughs> Bring it on! Good afternoon. My name is Cole. My name is Ed. And we are Pop Vulture. It's been a red hot minute since we've done this. Yeah, we ran away again for a little bit. He went to Canada, I stayed here and was lonely. And, and edited cried. the video in a way. In sh- over a, a few days. You want to call it a video. Minutes. People watch. I feel like I'm quite exposed. I feel like I'll enjoy this. It's quite warm in here. So it I'm, is warm. So you, you expose as much as you like. Best. I'm gonna keep composed for the ladies because we're gonna talk about sausages. We are um, dirty, we naughty we, sausages. Wow. <laughs> we thought we'd um, we'd feed your appetite in more ways than one with a movie about food. So here it is, our movie review. V. Oh yeah, we drove. We did. That's why I'm like, here it is. Here's the thing that we did. We got it. Beep, beep. Can I get a beep beep? Right in my Hands through my fro, bouncing on 20 bows. Let's skip the car. Let's skip the car. Sausage party. Sausage party. We're doing really well Motion. at this creating quality content thing, aren't we? Consistently. Well, to be fair, no. It's only because you went away, and then, you know, there's, there's obviously... You know, it's yeah. like any, any time you go away... We went to see and a film, and it made me sad. Plus, then was... you were in Canada, and then we saw we saw War Dogs last week. Here's our review today. It was okay. Go Two. check it out. Jonah Hill was nice. Yeah. Solid six there out of ten. Sorry, like twelve out of eighty-eight. I don't know, whatever you want. Twelve out of eighty-eight. I'm going to score it right now. I'm going to give War Dogs a uh, fifty-one out of eighty-eight. That was impromptu. I'm going to give go. War Dogs a forty-two out of eighty-eight. Well, there you go then. So a joint score of something. Who gives? Who gives? It? Um, but that's not what we're here for. We are here for quite possibly one of the strangest, most, strangest, and I was going to say most anticipated movies of the year. Yeah, I agree, actually. Not necessarily one of my most anticipated films of the year. I'd I'll say in general, that. general consensus. General for consensus cinema goers for just Comedy people. lovers. Obviously Seth Rogen. Um, last Seth Rogen we, movie we went to go see was Bad Neighbours 2. Which actually... Actually, which was really good. So, this could be... It, it could be great. It could be poop. I love the premise. This is something that hasn't ever really been done. I'm, I, the concept of, of children's things being done in a very adult way, that is nothing new. No. But this, in terms of a full-scale Pixar-like movie that is... For adults. For, for, for adults. Um, hasn't ever been done. This is from the creators of Super Bad. Good film. Yeah. This is the end. Bad film. I enjoyed that. There were parts of it. I like Michael Cera was the best part of that movie. I like Danny McBride in that film. Uh, I like Danny McBride. Danny McBride is like Hollywood fat in that he's not actually really very fat, but when he's in Eastbound and Down, he makes himself look fatter, and then when he's in the off season, he gets really trim. So people walk up to him and they're like, oh, why aren't you fat? And he's like, yeah. And when you consider him in Hollywood, he is like a fat guy. Like Rogan, Rogan, when he did Green Hornet, was still considered Hollywood fat. It be what he was real trim. Yeah, he film. was exactly like real trim. Like that was the, the most trim he's ever been in a yes. film. Yes. My concern is that this might be a little bit over the top. Um, you know what I'm like, and I've, I I've always like. said this. I'm never, I, I never consider myself above anybody. But this kind of humour sometimes just does not it doesn't it doesn't it's not me i don't know it could go one of two ways as we say with all of the films that we ever go and see on a drive through it could be shit. it could be great we could probably start changing our score from to great to great uh i'm gonna sneeze so i am going to sneeze in three two two one <laughs> It's, it's got everybody in it as well. It, it has got a lot it's of got, people in it. It's got Jonah Hill, uh, Kristen Wiig. Yep. Uh, Rogan Danny, himself. Danny McBride, Danny Michael McBride is in it, yeah. Is um, uh, Main Franco in this? I don't know. I don't know if he got... Is I, Sub Franco in this? I was going to say, Sub Franco might be in this, or is Main Franco? Is there a Franco? Well, Main Franco has tried to legitimise himself by doing Stephen King TV adaptation, so at the moment he might not be doing <laughs> things exactly like He might that. not be doing things like this. I, I don't think. know what to expect. Catchphrase. <laughs> that is your catchphrase. Is. I don't know what to expect, Captain. What the f*** was that? I don't know. Like, the whole kids animation thing, is it is is it's a pastiche 
Is it? I don't know what that word means. What the f does that mean? Pastic? Did you just make a word? No, pastiche is a word. I just wanted to use it to be fancy. Fancy? Fancy. Pastiche. Noun. An artistic work in a style that imitates that of another work, artist, or period. They've done quite well in the marketing of this because the concept of it is the only thing that they've really flogged. There's nothing about the story other than they get But I kind of can't because... Yeah. Uh, like... I, I, it's probably going to be a really thin plot, I'll give you that. Well, yeah. 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 Oh! Parking space. <laughs> The best thing that could have possibly happened has just happened. This is the one remaining and space is, in the entire and car park. This is the worst car parking. What are you doing? You are a cretin. <laughs> I'm. A... What? What? Let's go see some sausage. <laughs> cut. That was a cut. So that was the car bit, saying what we thought going into the film. This is what we thought after the film. Can I say? If they, if that was a film about people, that would be the most sexually infused movie I've, I've ever seen. They would get some complaints. They probably will get some I complaints. I think that would be like X-rated. That would be straight to cassette. They wouldn't even go to DVD. They put it on cassettes. I was talking to somebody earlier who was like, oh, I thought it was a kid's film. Oh, a, a guy I work with, his eight year old son was like, can we watch Sausage Party? And he was like, no, never. Not even when you're an 18 year old man. Don't go take your kids to see this. No, ever. Seriously. However, take yourself to go see this. Because I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. I'm a cynical bastard. We know this by now. I don't go see movies ever that I'm just like, this is going to be amazing unless it's got Chris Evans in it. He doesn't like the films where it's like, haha, willies. Superbad is, an, is a good film. I still maintain it's not amazing. A good film. Are we Did going for a Rogan written film right now? Well, no, I'm not going through all of them because we'll, <laughs> I've got. Pineapple like, Express! Uh, good but not great. Green Hornet. Green Hornet. Hey. Hey, hey. We don't. Hey, hey. This is the end. I enjoyed it. Um, this is the end is uh, an, 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 a no from me. <laughs> this isn't the X Factor of movies. It's a no from me. <laughs> um, but Michael Sarah and that's great. Do you know what he's great in? Sausage Pie. He is great in Sausage he Pie. Has, he has some he has of the best He has quite a big role yeah. as well for a Michael Cera role. He's, he, he does, does. He's not proper Michael Cera. He does He does a Michael Cera come good, but not in a Scott Pilgrim way. Michael Cera, if he had like one too many vodkas on a Saturday night. It gets really dark. It does, yeah. It gets really dark, yeah. There's something, uh, is there something on my ear? Can not, you check this for me? <laughs> No, look, like, like, is there yeah, string? There, there's like a thread. Can you please this pull shirt? it? He's no, tickling me and distracting yeah, me from doing movie m materials. I'm adjusted now, we can carry on. Good. We can continue now. To be fair, the themes of the film aren't far from what you get from your average Pixar movie, but then they put loads of willy jokes in there. Oh, there's so many willy jokes. There's so many willy jokes. Not fan and of fanny willy jokes. jokes. Oh, so many. Willies and, and fannies. And oh, it's naughty. I'm quite a delicate person, <laughs> and my nature was was my my well-being was severely bruised. Stop putting willies in things. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop putting willies around things. You oh, know about that anyway. Oh, <laughs> I'm so alone. Yeah, we enjoyed the film. That's basically all we can really say about it. Um, because you go too much into it, the plot is this thick. Not only did I enjoy the film, I'll probably watch it again. Yes. There's lots of people I know who probably won't like this. There's lots of people I know who probably will like this, who have the mind of Aaron Joyce. Can we score That's this? That's going to come, and we're going to come with a score. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, you go first. Naughty film. Okay. We should give it a naughty score. 67. 67. Well, well I was going to give it 70. Oh, I don't care. So, what's that? That's 68.5, which rounds up to 69! Yeah! If you like this video, <laughs> if you like any of our previous videos, go watch them, go do a thing, go comment, go do the clicky on the like at the happy times. Red um, subscribe. 
clicky. Yeah, do that. Uh, hopefully it won't be too long before we're back at you. We're gonna go see the cinema, see the cinema. We're gonna do that. Hello. Um, if, I don't know where I'm going with this, please just watch this. Yeah, just watch us, just come back. Send us oh, a comment. Oh, thanks. Yeah, go on Twitter, follow us, follow me. Oh yeah! Follow me, at Azza, what? follow we, him at, at We Are Coleman. We haven't done any social media for a very long That's time. That's why I'm adding it in now. Follow me at Azza, follow him at We Are Coleman. Follow both of us at Podwatcher Off. There's probably some text here. Until then though, we'll see you next time when we come back with more stuff for you. Podwatcher out. Toodles.